Well, hello out there in YouTube land. This is Ben from Age of Print. And uh, I've got a couple things here to show you. Um, and uh, first off, I just wanted to say thank you so much to uh, Stevie B and to uh, Wink Inc., uh, Alex Michael, uh, for mentioning my show um, on his Sunday uh, um, AM sessions, I think it's called, Alex Michael session. I've when I first saw it, I thought it meant in the morning, uh, but AM is Alex Michael. Um, and I want to thank him for, for giving me a shout out on his show. And and for Stevie B, who's who's just uh, been incredibly supportive. Um, what what a couple of great guys. I just, I can't say enough about them. Um, and, uh, you know, I've got some things here to show you. Um, I collect, for those of you who are new, I, I collect a lot of things. Um, Collect horror movies, uh, comic books, baseball cards. Uh, I love autographs in general. Um, man, I collect way too much stuff. Sometimes toys. I I should really focus on certain things, but um, you know, if I see it, I have a uh, no impulse control, so I just buy it. So I've got um, a movie here to to show you. Eh, just throw the trash on the ground. I'll pick it up later. Yeah, here we go. Now this is a kind of an oddball movie. Um, it's actually four oddball movies. Um, and I've read where they're supposed to do a remake. Uh, I'm not sure how how good a remake would be because this was uh, this was made in the mid '80s, uh, '85, '84, somewhere around there. Let me actually. Does it say on here? I'd have to open it up. I think it was the mid 80s. And it is the <laughs> Toxic Avenger four pack. Um, these are getting kind of expensive. Um, I think probably because of the remake. Um, see there's four uh, Toxic Avenger one, two, three, and then four is called Citizen Toxie. Um, I remember watching these a long time ago and you know they're they're kind of they're kind of weird movies. Um, Toxic Avenger is a is a superhero, and uh, you know it's really cheesy, really cheesy. You know where you punch somebody in the head, and that the head flies off. It, it's just that type of cheesiness. Um, and these are getting real expensive. I couldn't believe how much they're selling for on eBay. Um, I ended up finding this on uh, I think it's called Grindhouse Video. It's a subsidiary of uh, uh, Arrow Video. And I found this for $39 uh, for all four. Still sealed. Um, but, you know, uh, if you can pick these up. And, and if you remember, if you're a little older, uh, I can't remember if it was late 80s or not, but there was a cartoon of the Toxic Avenger. I think it was called Toxic Crusaders, I want to say. And there was also action figures. So... You know, that character may look a little familiar. Uh, I don't have any of the action figures. Um, never had a real desire to get them. Um, and I remember watching the cartoon a little bit. But um, if you can watch that first one, The Toxic Avenger. Uh, they're going to supposedly doing a remake. Uh, it was announced, I think, last year. And then everything, all the craziness started. Um, so maybe next year, I don't know. Um, well, we'll see, but... That first movie was really was really good. Um, if you're gonna watch any of them, watch the first one. That's usually what I say about most series. Is uh, you know you're gonna watch the first one. Um, in my opinion, you know Star Wars. Watch the first one. Uh, actually, Empire Strikes Back was awfully good. I think the new ones are actually the old three. The one with uh, Jar Jar. Uh, What's it? Phantom Menace. Not a big fan of those three. Um, the last three were okay, uh, but yeah, if you can watch the originals, watch the originals. Um, this here, oh, okay, in the back, is a comic book. Um, not sure which one it is, because I've got a couple different series uh, coming. Uh, let's see here. What is this? It's not a Gemini, is it? Collect, save, and protect. Look at that. It's not a Gemini. Huh, I don't think I've seen that one before. 
Okay, this is an interesting one. <clears throat> I thought this was going to be a daredevil. But this one I just picked up. Um, just to have because I am a collector and I collect so many different things. Um, <laughs> this is a, a political comic book. <laughs> Barack Panther versus the Tremendous Trump. And you can see here, uh, there's uh, Barack and there's... Tremendous Trump, I'm guessing Hulk. Um, and I think there's another one with, and it says Red Victory. I don't know if it's separate. Who made this anyway? Antarctic Press. Um, don't know much about this. I just saw it and had to have it. Um, I'm going to try and get the other one too. I don't know if they're different. But, um, you know, just figured since... Uh, it's political and what the election's coming up in a couple months. Um, might be worth getting uh, just to have. I, I Just to see if it goes up in value. <clears throat> and I've got this box here. Now this box I think has some daredevils in it. Um, trying to get some of those older daredevils if I can. Uh, while and get them for a good price uh, because I oh, almost dropped it I know Daredevil is going to make an appearance somewhere in a movie TV show now that I think what Disney owns the rights for Daredevil um, and what Luke Cage um, Iron Fist they can't do much worse with Iron Fist um, what's the other one am I missing uh, Jessica Jones I don't know about the Defenders I, I did I liked uh, the Luke Cage show um, who else did I like? Jessica Jones was okay the first season. Uh, but that Daredevil show, man, with him and, uh, uh, Punisher. What a great show, I thought. Um, just nonstop action. Well, this is a good way to pack them. Okay, came in the, uh, priority box. Came in a, a mailer. And look inside the box here. That's a pretty good idea. They have it slid on the side. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good way to pack it. Let's see here. All right, and yep, yeah, got some daredevils. Oh, no boards, <laughs> and they're uh, they're all in one bag. Oh man, you know if you're gonna. You're going to sell comic books. Uh, and it's something that you regularly sell. You know, raise the price 25 cents. Put a bag and a board on all your comic books. Because, I mean, these, you know, it seemed to be packaged pretty well. And actually, I don't even know if this is a bag. This looks like it's, uh, I don't think it's a bag. Yeah. Well, let's. That is just crazy. Is this a bag? It's a, uh, it's a looks like one of those big Ziploc bags. Oh boy. Well, did not expect that. From that packaging, I expect, you know, um, real good packaging. I can't even get this one out of the... There we go. Okay, well, here's the first one. From the Ziploc bag. This one is Daredevil. Number 121. It's got a little crease but and a spine ticker too, but I don't think that's caused by the bag. Let's see here. I like I love this art on the older Daredevils. Now this isn't too old. I think I got this for five dollars. May. Um 80s? Maybe? When is this from? May. 
1975. Okay. But that's still, that's not that old. Um, but for five bucks, and it's in, I'd say, fine condition. Maybe a little bit better than fine. Um, don't know if I can get that one little crease there. Can you see that one little crease right there in the middle of that box? That's about it. Uh, there Actually, there's a little one right here by the D. But the spine is pretty good. <clears throat> Who is he fighting in this one? And I like to, on these, the... He's with uh, Black Widow. I never really knew that he had a relationship with uh, Black Widow. But uh, in the hundreds, I think... Um, Late 80s numbers, uh, late 80s, 88, 87, somewhere around there, he starts seeing uh, Black Widow. So that's kind of cool. And then these other two. And they're, at least they're each in their own individual Ziploc bag inside, too. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. Maybe it'd be faster if I just cut it open. Because this is crazy. I just have to be careful with the comic, that's all. Okay. What is going on with these bags? How big this bag is and it's taped it's taped on all sides <laughs> I can't leave it in here very strange bags okay well here's the second one this one I got for, um, I got the next two for $6 a piece. They're a little bit older. They're a um, little bit worse shape. Not terrible, I'd say fine. Um, this is number 82. And he's battling Scorpion there. Scorpion's been around for a long time. Long, long time. Actually, he's a... Uh, in the current the video game too, um, Spider-Man. I've been uh, my my nephew. I got it for him uh, for the PlayStation, and Scorpion's in there, so that's kind of neat to see. This one, yeah, it's got some creases and some a couple actually, not really creases, but see down here at the bottom, you got a little bit of the uh, not creases, but where I guess I don't know what else to call it and it's got a few spine ticks but I'm okay with that for six dollars for an older daredevil um, daredevil has a lot of villains in it and I'll you know you never know someday movies okay we've got another and the last one here I don't know the best way to take this out. This is just crazy bags. Well, I'll just I just cut the bag. I'm careful. This one is number eighty-six. Also six dollars. Um, it's got a black border, so you can really see the spine ticks. There's a couple. And a fold. Fold on the back. Uh, you're not going to really see that. <laughs> but here's... Who's he fighting here? Uh, the Ox. I remember the Ox from his early, early issues. There's a couple where he fights the Ox. Just a big, big dude. But... If you can pick these up, um, these older issues for a good price, 
I saw Russ from uh, what Collect What just picked up number 11. Uh, I actually don't have that one, so I'm going to try and pick that one up too. But um, any of these old Daredevils with these weird villains... You know, um, not to mention Daredevil will, I mean, he's going to be in a movie or a TV show coming up someday. He's got to. He's too good of a character. And then these villains, there's so many different ones that, and they're all so unique. Um, you never know. One of those villains could end up in a movie. Um, cause those to skyrocket. And myself, who am a Daredevil collector, um, uh, trying to get them all, um, It'll be very hard to get some of those. It's already hard to get some of them, you know, first appearance of Elektra, first appearance of Bullseye. Um, Daredevil 1 through 6 is when he's in the old yellow outfit. And I have one of those. I think I have number 5 or 6. I'll have to show you next time. But he's in the old, old yellow outfit. And then Daredevil number 7 is his first issue in the red outfit. And that one, um, that one will cost you some money. You know, and and Daredevil one, um, very expensive, even at a very low grade. You know, very expensive, but it's a great character and it's been around for a long time. Uh, hopefully, he's around for a long time. And if you can pick those old issues up, uh, I'd suggest doing it if you can. You know, I collect Venom too, that new Venom Donny Kate series, and I'm collecting Daredevil and different oddities. Um, so. You know, I know it's rough, but um, it's rough on the wallet. Uh, and then with a baby um, coming on the way, due in uh, early January, end of December, early January, you know, I've got a... Boy, my wallet is not happy with me. Just not happy at all. But, you know, if you can get some of those, get them. Because uh, it'll be good, good return on your investment, I think. So, just wanted to show you those. I'll have to bag and board those, because... I don't think I can keep them in a Ziploc baggie, but, and if you're going to sell comics, bag and board your books. It's just, you have to. You just have to. And even if they're in this protected box, you know, nothing would have stopped them from sliding in there around and damaging the corners or the edges or, or whatever. Just bag and board the books. Um, charge somebody 25 cents more. I'd, I'd pay 25 cents more per book. For a bag and board. So I know most people would too. So that's all I have for you right now. And thank you to Stevie B and to uh, Wink Inc. And, um, you know, uh, it's early in the week. So have a great rest of your week. And I will, uh, I've got some more stuff coming. Um, a movie. I think I've got a movie. Um, finally got my Bubba Wallace autograph coming in the mail. Um, just to have. I, I don't know why I bought it, but I had to have it. And do I have some comics? I think I've got some comics coming, some more Daredevil. Um, hopefully I get that Daredevil 11. Uh, if I can get it for a good price, I'm going to snatch one of those up. Um, and uh, just hit the camera there. Yeah, I think that's all I got for you. So early in the week, have a great rest of your week. Wear your mask. Um, California has the... Um, Sort of been going backwards, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, sort of been going backwards where we're on the, uh, we're not on a complete lockdown, but man, we're, you can't go in businesses, you know, restaurants and everything. It's only takeout. Um, you have to wear your mask at all times. Yeah, but that, that's more of a common sense issue, I think. Um, just wear your mask. Um, I always wear mine when I leave the house. So I uh, hope everyone is safe. And uh, hope everyone uh, is excellent to one another, to quote Bill and Ted. So I will talk to you later this week and um, have a good one. Thanks for listening to me rant and I will talk to you later. Bye.